Hello, welcome to this video. I'm going to make this video of this caravan, the uh, Abbey Vogue 416 GTS, um, four birth caravan, registered in 1995. Um, bear with me on this video because I'm going to explain a lot of stuff and show you a lot of things inside. Um, so what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to run around the outside with you, uh, explain one or two things and then we'll take a look inside. Uh, there's little things you need to know because there's one or two little jobs I want doing on it but it's nothing major and uh, the caravan works pretty pretty satisfactorily. Um, under this locker, two locks on it. This lock works but that one uh, wants a new back plate on it. So under this locker um, you've got a spare wheel uh, and the leg winding handle and there's also a cover there for the airframe, this airframe. Um, there's no gas bottle or regulator so you'll have to uh, find yourself uh, them bits and pieces. And also there's no hookup lead or wastewater container. So I'll have a walk around it. It's in reasonable condition, it does have the odd uh, ding here and there but it's a bit to be expected for a caravan of this age. Uh, in that front locker here, you have the uh, the area where you put the uh, leisure battery, so you'll need a leisure battery as well. And there's the 240 volt for the hookup lead. It has got the fresh water container and uh, the uh, whale pump, and this has just had a new pump put on the end of it. The submersible pump that just slots in there and then it pushes into this connector here and while we're down here this bung here um, in winter when it's frosty open all your taps inside the caravan and screw this out and this will allow the water heater to drain um, and the reason for doing that is if it's left with water in it over winter there's a good chance the water inside will expand and crack and ruin your, your heater this works on gas and it works on electric, but I'll explain everything about that uh, in a little while. So it's not too bad down this side. There are one or two dings in this panel area, area here. The tyres are good. Also the brakes on the caravan work fine, as does the handbrake. And it's on the galvanised chassis, a lightweight galvanised chassis. It tows well. Behind this locker here is the cassette for the toilet. And I'll explain about the toilet when we get inside, but I'll just show you in this locker. Oh, can't get in it. Uh, keys. Bit, yeah, there we go. Oh, it's sticky. It's sticky. It hasn't been used for a while, so I'm just going to have to put the camera down in a minute. So behind this door, if this door sticks, um, when the caravan's parked up for a while, things like these seals get sticky, and one thing and another. Um, so this is your Thetford cassette, and what this does, this captures the waste from the toilet inside, and to remove this. You flick this down and this cassette pulls, pulls all the way out. So you take it, pull it all the way out, take it to an appropriate drain, unscrew this cap, tip it away, put a bit of water in, give it a swill, tip that water away, put a couple of litres of water in and then the blue fluid that breaks down matter. Put your cap back on, shove it all back in there, like that. And this top section here, is for the pink fluid for the toilet for the flush and all you do with this is unscrew this cap uh, pour some of the pink fluid in fill it up with a, a hose pipe or a watering can put your tap back on and that's all good to go it's not bad across the back let you have a look Oh, 
all the real lights work, indicators and things. Uh, one or two little dings down this side. Uh, down this side it's mainly where awning poles have caught the body as people have put, put awnings up on one thing and another. It's been caught at some time down here as well. It's just rippled that sill a little bit and um, snapped the end off the, the, fifth, the trim there. This tyre's all good. I hope it's getting it. Your caravan step as well, that's coming with it. There's one or two dings up here, this area. Uh, like I say, that's from awning poles and a little bit down here. But all in all, it's not too bad on the body. So that's the outside. And um, what I'll do next, we'll go and have a look inside. Just before we go inside, um, you'll, you'll, you'll need to know weights and dimensions. So this caravan is eight and a half feet high to the peak of the aerial at the other side. It's seven feet wide and from the back of the body to the front of that peak there, it's 20 feet long. And then from the back all the way to the front of the airframe, it's 23 and a half feet. And unladen, it weighs 1067 kilograms and it'll max out at 1300 kilograms. So now we'll go and take a look inside. So as you come into the caravan, um, you've got your step there, and this is the stable. This is the stable door. So what this means is you can have the top section open and the bottom section closed like this, if you so wish, like that. And this door has a blackout blind on it, like that. You come into the caravan <clears throat> and across the doorway that we've just walked in there's a there's a pull across um, black, uh, fly net and this is the full height of the door like this cooker it's a four ring cooker I've lit the rings now the one at the back right this one can be very very temperamental to light at times uh, but uh, I'm just showing you that they work or that the three of them work. Grill, the grill's on, that works. Uh, let me see it lit. Yeah, you can see the flame there. And also, there's a grill pan in here. Oven, the oven's on. It has this little handle at the side here that you lift up. To open the door like that. Got the oven on there, you see that lit. So this cooker just has one of the rings that can be very temperamental to light. That's all turned off. Next to the cooker you have a pull-out drawer here uh, for storage. One here, put your knives and forks in there the shelf and what have you, and there's all the gas taps for the appliances, for the uh, the oven, grill, uh, hob, gas fire and water heater. Fridge at the side, now the fridge is turned on on the 240 uh, hook up. The fridge works fine on the, uh, on the electric, it gets nice and cold in here. This is your little freezer box at the top couple of shelves and then you've got a shelf at the bottom there in the door and one uh, halfway up and one at the top so the fridge works on the 240 volt hook up okay but it doesn't work on the gas and I've never ever tried even tried it on the 12 volt but it works fine on the 240 so next to the fridge you've got the fire now this gas fire works this is now turned on on the gas and I'm going to try and show you the pilot lights, uh, the, the flame, so you can see that it's working. So in the back of there, 
can pick it up somewhere. There, down there, that's the fire lit on the gas. Now behind the fire there's an electric fan, it's called a fan master. Now the fan master side of it doesn't work. Um, but I'll, I'll just explain one or two little switches to you behind this. And I've got, I put the, I put the TV in, just so that this shows you that um, uh, that the TV aerial and the booster work. I think I'm going to carry on film there. Uh, that's your status aerial there. So this red light's lit up. This runs to the aerial on the top of the, the, the aerial on top of the, the aerial on the top of the van couples into this, and then it goes down to the sockets at the back for the for the uh, TV. Um, radio, radio cassette. Anybody got any cassettes? <laughs> you sure that it works? Download the BBC Sounds app for music. Radio 4. So behind the tally, the, the, the tally's not coming with the van, it's just there to show you that that, that works. So behind the tally, <coughs> this is where the TV plugs in. Little 12 volt plug socket and aerial. And there's also one down there as well to the right. That's an extra TV um, plug and aerial if you want to put the TV on top of there. So this fire, like I say, it has a fan in the back. Um, now these controls here, this top section is for gas and this bottom section is for electric. Now this fan master, I'll explain the top first. So you turn this on like this and it starts to light a light up there. Now what this will do, this is gas auto fan or gas low fan. Now you've heard the fan come on behind the fire. Now what that's doing, it's blowing the hot air from the, from, from the fire out of that vent there and that vent there and that's blowing now hot air into the van so it's a bit like uh, it's called blown blown air heating a bit like central heating so it's blowing them out of that there it's also blowing hot air out of this one here and then in the washroom there's also another vent down there and it's blowing hot air out of there so it makes the van nice and nice and warm we'll have a look at the washroom after um, so going back to these controls, I'll turn this gas fire off. To turn this gas fire on, it's very easy. Um, you hold, hold it down and turn it to that position until you feel it want to drop, which is about there. And then you hold it like that down for a few seconds to get the gas through. And then you just click it down, and it fires. It, it fires the fire up. Now. Um, Okay, with, the, with the appliances, if you don't use your van for a while, obviously the uh, the gas pressure might drop in your pipe. So when you come to light gas fires, for example, and cookers and water heaters on gas and things like this, a few attempts um, to purge the gas back through. Now coming back to this here, um, behind that fire is that fan. I'll turn that off. Now this is the fan master side of it. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. It works in the fact that it'll come on. That'll stop flashing. Then the fans come back on. So what that's trying to do now, the gas fire isn't turned on on gas. The fan behind the fire has a, an element in it which heats up and that would also blow warm air through these vents that I just showed you. But it's very temperamental. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Just to make you aware. I'll just pop that TV back down there. Now, there's, there's a sink here, it has a flip up lid, like this. Pushes back to there, and you clip it down into place with that so it doesn't fall on you. And above the, the sink is a light, a 12 volt light, uh, and a window at the back, and this blind works on this window. Um, the cupboards above. With a few plates and things in it there. One to this side and to this side above the fire there's a like a wine cabinet so you can put some wine bottles in there and hang your fancy glasses on these. The sink, there's two ways to get hot water in this van you can have it heating up on the gas or on the 
electric. Now I've got this on the gas at the minute, and it's this switch here behind this panel. Behind this panel. This switch here is for the water pump, so you click this on, this turns the, the, a bl the blue whale pump on outside. You flick this switch down and this green light comes on. Now this means that it's now heating the water on the gas. If that light goes out and this red light comes on, it means you're probably out of gas or your gas bottle's not, not connected up or something similar. So it's very simple, you just flick it on, green light comes on, stays on, heating your water on the um, gas. To get hot below here, this is if you're using, if you had a leisure bag to put on the van, um, you'd click to use the van on 12 volt and not too far, so you'd click this switch down onto van and that would give you 12 volt in the caravan. Or if you switch it to car, it'll do two things, or one of two things, either or. It'll put the fridge onto 12 volt to chill it down, or if you don't have the fridge on, it'll also charge up the leisure battery. And this switch at this side is a 240 volt charger, so when this is flicked on, like this, it'll um, charge the battery up and run power into the van. These are just ordinary car fuses for your, for various things around the caravan, like your rear lights, brake lights and things. And this box here is the main override box for all the electric appliances. Going back to the sink. So this is the hot tap. We turn that pump on. We turned it on, didn't we? Yes, that pump's turned on. Now, there you go, you can see the steam rising off that, that is really really hot, so be careful when you're using it because you don't want to stall yourself. So that's the hot water, and this is the cold water, just showing you that it works. Uh, and, and there's a plug, plug for the sink. Um, now this front area turns into a double bed, so you can either you can either leave it single and sleep one on there and one on there or you can pull the lats out from under here that pull across and rearrange the cushions. So you pull this out, you pull this all the way out and bring your cushions down like this. Like that, so that makes up your double bed. Like that. Put these back. Below here, this is the extra plug socket for the 12 volt and TV aerial. Uh, 240 volt plug socket that works. You've got a little bit of storage under there. You have two drawers on here, like this. And if you pull this, this table comes out like this, flips back, and you've got extra table room there. While we're in front of the van, um, in this van, the fly nets and, and blinds and things, uh, they all won't work on them, they're all, they all, they, they nearly all of them want a bit of a retention, um, but the curtains are good. And these three front windows don't open. For some reason they've either been sealed, closed by a previous owner, or they're just stuck, I don't know. So, but I'm not going to force them because I don't want to break them. So, them three don't open. Fly nets and blackout blinds at most of the windows in the caravan, but not all of them want a retention. This window opens okay, as does that one, and that one, and the one uh, at the back of the sink, and also the ones in the washroom, which I'll show you shortly. So, we've done that double bed and showed you this front area. These two, these lights here, that one and that one, are 240 volt. Now they have a little toggle switch like this. Now sometimes they turn off, or sometimes they don't. 
and the toggle switch is missing off this one. So what I do with this, um, I unscrew that, take this glass out and I'll switch it off manually by the little switch at the back. Um, it's entirely up to you what you want to do with them obviously, like leave them on or I'll leave them off, I don't know. Um, plenty of cover space in here, cover space with shelving. That brings us into this area. This is called the, the dinette and what this does, this makes up into uh, um, bunk beds. So just, just there where my finger is, there's lats that pull across and then you drop these cushions down to form the base of that bed. Then this section here, this table comes out, then at the back, the, the section you can see there, it lifts up and flips over and makes a bunk across. And now I'm gonna set that up but I need to answer to do that, so I'll show you that after. Um, mark up a space above here. And all the 12 volt lights in the van work. There's one there, one at the front, uh, there's a spotlight under there. And there, you've seen the lights above the, f the sink. There's a light in the rear. Now that brings us into the washroom. So in here, this is a wardrobe with cupboards above, like this, wardrobe below, and this has a, a rail on it for hanging clothes in, so your wardrobe and cupboards, to the side of it is the toilet. This is a Thetford cassette toilet. Um, remember, I showed you the uh, cassette outside. Well, when you know when that's getting full, this indicator will move to the right and turn red, so you know that it needs uh, emptying. This bit is for toilet roll holding. We'll put the lid up. This here, it, it, if you turn it, so if you turn it, it opens a little gate in the bottom like this. So. You turn it like that, do your business, push this down for a flush, like that, and then close that back up, and then just give it a little push on top, because what it does, um, there's a ring seal under there, and they can go brittle and leak, so if you just leave a bit of water on top of it, it keeps it lubricated. Uh, rear window here, with a uh, a towel holder there and there, cupboard above, cupboards everywhere. Then that brings you across to this sink unit, shelving inside. This carpet in this bathroom is not the best. Uh, I'll show you the taps work. So again, a swivel uh, tap, so I turn the hot water on. Like that. Cold water. Just so you know that they're working. And then you've got a salt dish holder, toothbrush holder, some mirrors above, like this. Hello. And this is a, a 12 volt light. So that's the shower room. Yeah, that's, sorry, that's the bath, that's the toilet and the sink. And across from that is the shower with this Perspex door. This just pushes open like this and then you're in the shower room. This is a full size shower. I think there's probably from the floor to the top is probably at least six feet. A shower head um, and taps, hot and cold tap, shower tray. And what I'll do, I'll just get this shower head down and I'll turn these taps on so you know that they're working as well. So, hot tap, like that, cold tap, so all the taps in the van work, remember the water gets red hot, so make sure you use them like mixer taps, uh, if you don't want to scald yourself, that just clips back on there, uh, a light above, 
and a vent hole. A uh, bit of bit of shelve in there for soap and one thing and another. And there's also a vent hole there. Um, so I think I've just about showed you everything. I've showed you what works and what don't work and what works on what on one thing and another. What I haven't showed you though, um, we had this turned on on the gas. That's turned off now. I turn that pump off. Um, to get hot water on the electric 240 hookup. It's this switch here. So when you're hooked up on site with your 240 uh, lead, all you need to do is just click that on. That red light lights up, and that's giving you, that's heating your water up on uh, 240 volt electric hookup. Very simple. Here, there's a curtain. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this bunk up, and I'll pull this curtain around, and you can see what goes on around here. So I'll bear with me for a few minutes. So these are the bunks made up. Um, that's turned now into your bottom bunk by pulling these lats forward I was talking about and this concertina's out uh, and there's flat and then this side this section here clips underneath on a couple of clips and what this does is to prevent people falling out at night and it also has this uh, safety guard on it which just clips and clips into a couple of connectors at the back there and that's your bunk so that's your extra two sleeping spaces with it being a four berth um, so where were we? I think I've just about said everything um, so to reiterate uh, you'll need, you need you'll need a leisure battery for this caravan and a hookup lead um, and a gas bottle and regulator um, there's the fresh water barrels coming with it and the whale pump and also the leg winder for the leg corner steadies outside the caravan and also the caravan step that's coming um, so, oh, and you'll need wastewater containers as well so uh, I'm going to put this caravan to auction because because then windows don't open and the blinds are a bit ropey um, and that back ring doesn't like, doesn't like to keep lit and the fan master doesn't work on the electric 240 so I don't know what price put on this caravan so I'm going to start it at 99p and whatever it goes for, it goes for. Uh, I can also deliver this caravan if you like. I can deliver it for uh, a pound a mile, one way, postcode to postcode. So thanks for watching and happy bidding. Um, and I'll see you later. Bye for now. Oh, sorry, just before you go, I meant to show you this curtain, didn't I? It comes round on this rail, like this all the way to the end and then it makes this area private from the rest of the caravan like that yep all right well that's about it now uh thanks for watching happy bidding starting at 99p bye for now